Hello everyone, welcome to AR Masterclass. In this course, we'll take you from a beginner in augmented reality to an expert in AR app development using Unity, AR Foundation, and Adobe Arrow. You don't need any prior coding or design experience to take this course. Everything you will need will be covered in the course and if you get stuck at any point, I'll be there to help you along with our amazing community. I'm super excited to be your guide in this amazing journey. Let's have a sneak peek of what we're going to learn. The course is divided into multiple sections. In each section, we talk about a concept and then build a small app using that concept. This way, not only you just learn those concepts in depth, but also you'll have a solid understanding of where and how to use them. We'll start with plane tracking. It's one of the most fundamental topic of augmented reality. We'll build a flooring try-on app and see how we can use occlusion to improve that experience. Then we'll see how we can use ray casting to create a crosshair that responds to the plane's normal. After that, we'll talk about air anchor and build a planter try-on app using all these concepts together. We'll conclude our learning on plane tracking by creating a measuring app, just like Apple's Measure app that combines all these concepts of AR anchor, plane tracking and raycasting. And uh, you know, like you'll have some complete understanding of this particular topic. Next, we'll dig into image tracking. We're going to create a AR holiday card. We're going to do some animation on top of that and we'll see how we can track multiple images using the image tracker in AR Foundation. From there, we're going to talk about point cloud. It's a really interesting topic and we're going to see how you can create those point cloud using AR Foundation. And we're also going to see how you can store those point cloud. We're going to dissect how Kayak used this concept of point cloud to calculate size of a luggage. Our next topic is face tracking. I'm sure you have seen those face filters on Instagram and Snapchat. Well, they use face tracker to achieve that. In this section, we'll discuss face pose and face mesh and use this knowledge to create a virtual sunglass try-on from scratch. By this time, you'll already gain the basic understanding of AR and have the knowledge to build your own concepts. So we'll dive into some more intermediate topics. We'll start with meshing. Here, we'll create a 3D scan of our room and detect floor, walls, ceiling, doors, and windows from it. We'll conclude by creating a paintball game using Unity Physics. We will then move to AR body tracking and segmentation. Here, we'll see both 2D and 3D human pose estimation. We'll build a background removal app and animate a robot using our pose estimator. At this point of the course, you should have already a solid foundation on AR. So from here, we'll dive into some more creative and exceptional AR concepts. For that, I have came up with these five bonus projects for you. Each of them are creatively stunning and will give you understanding of some advanced feature of AR Foundation, AR Core, and AR Kit. First of all, we'll create a location-based AR app for real estate agents. You'll learn Google's geospatial API and how you can embed it with AR Foundation to build a real estate location-based projects from scratch. Next, we'll use AR Core's segmentation model to change our sky to pink. Third, we're going to create a 3D photo app just like you see in Facebook 3D photos. We'll learn how to use AR Core's depth API in this process. Fourth, we'll create an AR portal. You probably have seen these portals on different social XR and mixed reality experiences online. Now you'll create your own portal app using AR Foundation and Stencils. Fifth and final, and this one is my favorite, we are going to integrate AI and AR. You will learn how to use hugging face models inside Unity, how to use Sentis AI in Unity, 
and visualize an AI generated wall art within AR. Alright, that was a lot of projects. We have covered almost everything you need to become an AR developer, but there is something missing. If we knew how to scale these apps with a backend, each of this project could be a startup idea. So let's do that. We'll finish this course by creating two capstone projects where you will use Firebase as our backend and dynamically update all the AR contents in our app. You will create IKEA AR clone and the indoor navigation app using AR Foundation and Firebase with device tracking and some other topic that we have covered earlier in this course. From here, you can apply this knowledge to any of the projects we develop in this course, in the future AR projects that you work on, or even start your own augmented reality startup.